Happy it's an age most people only dream of reaching. But for Dr. David Goodall, the renowned scientist and academic, life has been too long. Life has become less worth living. <laughs> I'm not enjoying life now as I would have done five, year, five or ten years ago. And I think the same may be true of most people of this age. I get up in the morning, I uh, find a bit of breakfast, and then, well, generally speaking, I just sit. What's the use of that? It is because Dr. Goodall loved life so much that he's choosing to leave it. A few days ago, he left his home in Australia and his family, saying his final farewell. He was going to Switzerland, one of the few countries on earth where it is legal to choose death over life. His final hurdle will be the confirmation on Wednesday by a psychiatrist that he is competent enough to choose. I, you know, I don't find peace until I get there. Uh, well, in a few days' time, I shall have it. That will be very welcome. My message would be, uh, once uh, a person has passed the mid-period uh, mid of ageing uh, and uh, have full competence, uh, let, that, let it be their choice. You've been obliged to leave your home, to leave your family, to travel across to the other side of the world, right. to die in a country that isn't yours, exactly. and without your loved ones around. How do you feel yes. about that? I feel resentful. I'm resentful uh, of the government and, uh, and establishment in Australia that they don't recognise that one uh, would like to end one's days in Australia as I would. But part of the problem is that people are afraid of death. They don't want to talk about it. Uh, there's no obligation for anyone to either talk about death or to engage in death, as I am doing. You know, just keep quiet, let other people follow their own.